Here is a 2024 Buick Encore GX Avenir in white forest over whisper beige and ebony leather interior. It has finally got the refresh, including the logos, which makes this a lot more sporty and yet contemporary. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides, and if you're looking for an all-wheel drive variant with luxury, you can't go to the Chevy Trax. You have to go to the Buick line in which we have two powertrains, which the Chevy Trax only gets the 1.2 liter three-cylinder turbocharged engine. Up front, you're gonna notice the refresh has really changed the brand. LED headlights and daytime runnings. I like the two-tier setup and the Avenir grill with the chrome surrounding it. They didn't go all chrome. They give you a touch of gloss black on the lower trim and nearly eight inches of clearance. And because a couple years ago, we got 10% more horsepower and 20% more torque, it doesn't make sense to do a refresh on the engine. However, if you're wanting a nine speed automatic transmission, you have to tick the box for all wheel drive, otherwise standard CVT transmission. And underneath the hood is a, a 1.3 liter turbocharged three cylinder producing 155 horsepower and 174 pound feet of torque, achieving 29 MPGs for the city and 31 MPGs for the highway. And we're getting upgraded wheels, 19 inch multi-spoke alloys. Standard is an 18 inch aluminum wheel. So you're not really sacrificing when you're looking for that sporty hip style for a compact SUV. Avenir gets some chrome that's going to be on the top of the windows and a touch on the door handles. The roof rails get the satin aluminum. The only thing I feel like they forgot is the same thing with the Chevy Trax. We have the RC antenna instead of a shark fin antenna. But because this is the Avenir unique LED taillights, and this makes it look a lot better than the Chevy Trax. The whole scheme back here, you have some gloss black elements that make it look like you have an exhaust outlets and you have a diffuser in the center. It's just a little bit more simplified and yet sporty, which when you're looking at rival perspective, whether it's Volkswagen or Mazda, this is going to tick the box for that sporty feel, but it's going up a notch to more of a luxury vibe. Power lift gate, which is optional on the preferred. Cargo at 24 cubic feet. You have a little nook here. And the floor can adjust. So we have it adjusted on the lowest level with a spare tire. And it will raise to make it more flat. You can also adjust this because I'm tall and I'm hitting my head. Because I'm tall, once you move that privacy cover, fold these down, 50.2 cubic feet of storage, and it will be a flat floor if you raise this back up, which is the same as the new Chevy Trax. Let's go inside and start up this 1.3 turbo so you can hear that exhaust note. Ten-way power seat adjustment for the driver. Heated front seats with the Avenir badging. This is leather appointed with eight-way power seat adjustment for the passenger. Memory for the driver. Headroom and legroom. Even though it's a small SUV, it has enough width and depth for the front. The dash has been redesigned. You have the aluminum look with the pattern. Contrast stitching on the top. We have the premium Bose sound system, which is seven speakers opposed to the six speakers that are standard. You get the satin aluminum that's going to go around the air vents in the side, keeping a sporty effect with the one panel screen, 11 inch diagonal for the touch with wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio and dual climate control. Put it into reverse. We have a reverse camera with trajectory and it doesn't cover up the whole screen. That's the only con I have right there. With an eight inch digital gauge cluster, leather wrap steering wheel, three spoke multi-function with adaptive cruise control, lane centering. And here's your physical buttons for the climate control. Optional wireless charging pad. We do not have it, but you have an area here that you can just throw your cell phone. With two USBs and a 12 volt, it's gonna be a little bit more driver focused. And the new key fob for the Buick Encore GX Avenir. Leather around the shifter and another storage box. This is pushed back and it's going to be more sporty. Opens up area for a cell phone or whatever you need. It's a deep storage pocket, but no 12 volts inside. The door panel 
keeps that Sporty Q similar to the Chevy Trax. It's gonna be the same materials that's found on the top and it's software, it needs to be one touch up and down just for the driver and the same storage pocket as the Trax and this is for the adjustments for the power lift gate with an optional panel moonroof that we have and auto dimming rear view mirror. For the back seats, headroom and leg room. Storage behind both of the front seats. What I like about this pano is they actually carve it out for headroom and the passenger storage pocket is a different configuration from the driver with USB home plug and a storage tray. I wish this was shifted up a little bit more so and you'll see why in a second. Armrest with cup holders, door panel is gonna have the same material that's in the front every day and software it needs to be. Storage pocket, you can fit a beverage or a flask. Sliding into the center, the floor is flat, but this is why I wish this was pushed up because if you see where the rails are, I'm sharing feet space and they're exposed so you have to be careful you don't wanna cut the front of your shoes. Button shoulder space is going to be shared also because it's not that wide of an SUV in headroom as long as I'm sitting back it's okay because of the pano but if I sit up right here it's going to be tight. 155 horsepower, 174 pound-feet of torque, three-cylinder 1.3 liter turbocharged engine. CVT because this is the front wheel drive, all-wheel drive you can get the nine-speed automatic transmission. The MPGs will change but the whole driving dynamic also changes just a little bit. What I like off the bat is how Buick gives you options. So you can get options within the tiers and you have engine options with transmission options. So it kind of ticks everybody's box when you're considering, if you don't like CVT, get the nine speed all wheel drive. We're gonna check out some of the performance right now. Has a bit of a sporty drive to it. It's a little bit more quiet and composed compared to the Chevy Trax. So you do get some of the upgrades there. There is no acoustic windows on the side, but the front windscreen comes standard. The big thing really is how Buick gives you the noise cancelization. You're not going to receive that with the Chevy Trax. You're going to be getting a lot of standard safety features, plus you're getting a lot of standard amenities when you're going into the Buick line. It's going to take me to some pros and cons in which you've already heard a few of the pros. Some other things that I like about it is how comfortable it is. I mean, you don't feel all over the place. The suspension holds itself well. We have upgraded wheels and standard comes with 18 inch wheels. So even on the exterior, you're still keeping a sporty look. And because of the Avenir, the back makes it look a lot more unique. Some other pros, it has a sporty drive. It's not like a sports car, but when you're getting a subcompact or even a compact SUV, you want something that has some momentum and you're not just hitting the gas all the time to get it motivated. Now with the CVT, you will hear it more so with the ratios than the nine speed automatic transmission. Some cons about the vehicle is the gauge cluster, it's a bit dark the way it's stationed because it's kind of tilted towards the driver more so than my liking in which it just doesn't have a lot of color that pops out of it. I'm not a big fan of the exposed rails for the front seats for the back seat occupants because you will scratch your shoes. And we're in the top tier. The Avenir doesn't give you full power seat adjustment for the passenger side, nor is there an option for ventilated seats. But for maneuverability, it's good. The steering is pretty light. It's going to be a little bit more of a top heavy car. It's not dynamically for a sport drive, but it has the essence blended in. I feel that Buick is going on the right path, but they have held back some and I can understand because if they put everything in the Buick, why would you upgrade to the new Cadillac XT4 in which that has a lot of the things that we're missing here. The armrest is still pushed back a little bit more further than my liking. And to show you some of the tight maneuverability, we're going to go up just a little bit if this Subaru moves. And you can see you can get pretty much in and out. It's not that wide of a vehicle nor that long of a vehicle. If you're considering the preferred trim, 
The only major con I have with that is it's the same exact engine that's in the Chevy Trax. That has a six-speed automatic transmission that does not offer all-wheel drive, which you would get a nine-speed on this side if you got the all-wheel drive, but it's going to be standard CVT transmission. Clearance is good, and as for comparable rivals, Mazda is going to feel a little bit more tight and sporty, and it also has a lot more power when you go to the turbo variant. If you do the non-turbo, it's going to be very similar, except it's a six-speed automatic transmission. The big con that I see with Buick is the fact that GMC has a lot of vehicles underneath their belt. Because of this, you can't get as much luxury as Cadillac, but they are right underneath them in the sense of giving that much more than the Chevy Trax. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise, website, and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like. And I'd like to thank Buick Lakeland for giving us this 2024 Buick Encore GX Avenir for our car review.